So the background of our study is that uh, there's been a significant unmet need for patients with BCG unresponsive bladder cancer. Uh, we have not had any recent intravesical FDA approvals in, in decades. And as a result, uh, this is a trial looking at a combination of BCG uh, with a, a unique molecular compound uh, in patients that have BCG unresponsive CIS, as well as papillary disease, TA and T1 disease. The methodology was a phase two trial looking at uh, patients with persistent recurrent CIS uh, following BCG that was just deemed as adequate. This would be at least five out of six installations of BCG, uh, as well as at least two out of three of the maintenance course. Uh, and for papillary disease, TA and T1 disease, uh, they would have to have disease within six months of the adequate BCG. Uh, and the primary endpoint was looking for a complete response for those patients with CIS, and then also a disease-free rate at 12 months for patients with papillary disease. So in a heavy populated, uh, heavily populated, uh, or rather a heavily treated group of patients, um, the median number of BCG doses were 12 to, to, to as, as the mean as high as 16 of uh, receiving uh, that number of BCG doses. Uh, what the key findings were for both CIS patients as well as papillary patients, a significant response to the combination of BCG with the N803, which is the unique uh, molecular compound that's an IL-15, uh, basically super agonist, cytokine agonist. And as a result, uh, what was found was for CIS, there was a complete response rate that was quite significant uh, and long lasting. So for CIS at 12 months, the complete response rate was more than 60%. And there was significant durability with a complete response rate at uh, 24 months of being more than 50%, actually 52%. When looking at patients actually with papillary disease, this is disease we define as TA and T1 disease, uh, a similar uh, response rate that we think is clinically, is clinically significant and durable. Uh, that is basically a 12-month disease-free rate of more than 50%. And at 24 months, actually that being maintained with 48% of patients actually disease-free without evidence of papillary disease. So uh, a combination of this unique uh, IL-15 cytokine agonist and 803 in combination with BCG uh, seems to show a uh, significant response rate as well as durability of response. I think importantly, uh, there are several key findings. Uh, first is the fact that this is an intravesical treatment, so not a systemic treatment, uh, not anything uh, out of the ordinary. This follows a familiar uh, kind of treatment regimen that urologic surgeries, surgeons are uh, used to when treating with patients with bladder cancer. That's number one. Number two, it's incredibly uh, well tolerated. So there were no grade four, grade five significant adverse events or no patients that had issues with actually falling off the study due to adverse events. And if you look at the grade one and grade two most common side effects, uh, they're lower urinary tract symptoms. They're actually related to um, treatment uh, induced intravesical side effects that are quite common such as urinary frequency and hematuria and dysuria. And in fact, when measuring serum levels uh, of this N803 uh, IL-15 agonist, there were no levels within the plasma. So this was a localized treatment to the bladder. So a familiar mode of administration, a very safe administration, uh, and one in which that has significant response rates that do occur and seem to be durable. So how we think this combination works is based upon trained immunity. Uh, our, our hypothesis and the thought process is we know that BCG uh, is effective when uh, one of the mechanisms seems to be inducing this trained immunity, uh, this innate immune uh, uh, cells actually uh, depend upon a uh, response to BCG that requires natural killer cells, that requires immune cells. And what N803 does is it uniquely revs up, activates, uh, and helps the proliferation of natural killer cells of trained immunity. And so we think this combination of BCG being the uh, actual induction and starting this trained immunity response that is augmented 
by NA203 uh, kind of uh, explains why patients that do respond tend to have a, a durable response. Uh, and so this uh, combination uh, of agents, um, it seems to be uh, the most effective in terms of bringing about a complete durable response.